All right, um, I'm not showing my face because I look a super hot mess today. It is Sunday, so I don't have any makeup on or anything. But a lot of you have been asking how I am able to maintain my pink hair. Uh, as you guys know, I did it at the very end of April. And I've probably washed it five or six times now. And it's held up really well. And I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys the stuff that I've been using to uh, maintain my pink hair and kind of keep up with it. It hasn't really faded because I haven't let it fade. So the two tricks that I'm going to tell you guys real quick are number one, I always, always, always wash or rinse my hair, um, both wash and rinse my hair with cool water, not freezing cold and not warm, not lukewarm, not hot. I rinse and wash my hair with cool water. So uh, what I do is when I take a shower, sometimes I will shampoo and sometimes I won't. Sometimes I'll just cut shampoo out completely and just do the conditioner. Um, but when I do the shampoo, I use overtone. So I'll use regular shampoo, sulfate free and paraben free shampoo. Um, I didn't grab the ones that I use, but I have one that is uh, from Dollar Tree. It is the Salon Selectives brand and it is sulfate free and paraben free. So it is safe for color treated hair, but I use overtone after I do the um, the uh, shampoo. Now, however, Overtone did supply me with these. I did not purchase these myself. And from personal use, I don't know if I'm going to be getting them again. I don't know if I'm going to be repurchasing just because I like my kind of little mix that I've done myself uh, better. So here is the Overtone uh, Weekly Treatment. So this is basically dye in a little container here. And you do this once a week. Um, I only shower once a week, so I don't do this that often. I'll probably only do this like once every three weeks or just uh, when I feel it needs it. Uh, but this is the pastel pink one. And with the weekly treatment, you're supposed to, it says right here, get ready for deep treatment, uh, using disposable gloves, apply, apply treatment generously to wet or dry hair once or more per week. Uh, soak, soak it in for 10 to 15 minutes and then rinse out, live boldly. So if I were to use this, I would treat it like a hair dye and I would apply it and then put a bag over my head and leave it on for about 20 to 30 minutes or so and then uh, rinse it out with cool water and this right here is just the daily conditioner obviously if you have colored hair like this you don't want to be washing your hair every single day that is going to strip the color out so 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 fast especially if you're thoroughly scrubbing your scalp with shampoo and your ends and everything it is going to rinse out like crazy and fade super fast so my only complaint about overtone is the size like this little bottle right here is 17 dollars and for how much hair i have on my head i don't feel like this is enough product for me uh just personally and this tub i'll probably get one use out of because it will coat my whole head this is the conditioner so i will use this if i use shampoo i'll rinse and wash my hair with shampoo and then i will follow up with this conditioner and basically what you do is you put this all over your hair um massage it in everything like that and then i just put it up in like a little bun and then while i'm shaving my legs washing my body everything like that this is kind of soaking in and it says leave it in for like five to ten minutes or something and then rinse it out and this is colored as well so it's got the pigment in there and it just kind of puts back what shampooing takes out that's overtone also with overtone i really don't like the smell of it i don't know what it is it doesn't have a pleasant smell to me it has a very like i don't know it has a very like menthol-y smell which is not for some people it's got kind of like a medical smell which is really weird i don't know if that's the chemical or what but I, the smell is a little off-putting for me, so that's why I tend to gravitate more towards this option, which I'm going to show you guys. So what I have been doing to actually maintain my pink hair, oh my gosh, this is my original bottle of Arctic Fox dye that I dyed my hair with, and I kid you not, there is still this much product left, and I think this bottle was $17 for the 8-ounce bottle. 
something like that maybe it was like 12 or 15 I don't remember exactly however this is just strictly the dye in this bottle and what I do is when I dye my hair I mix it with a white conditioner uh, and I dilute it down so I don't use just strictly the dye itself because you can see how like reddish that looks I dilute it down with some conditioner and that is how I dye my hair. Now, to maintain my hair, I will make a conditioner basically like an overtone. So what I'll do is I'll pretty much mix up my hair dye. So I'll do a huge ton of this conditioner and this is just the VO5 anti-frizz paraben free one that you can get at Dollar Tree. I literally paid a dollar for this right here and sometimes I can get it at my local Fred Meyer for 75 cents. So yeah this is a super cheap alternative. So what I'll do is I'll mix up my hair dye pretty much. I'll mix it up and I'll put it all in this bottle. This bottle is just I have used up all the product in it uh, previously and it was empty. Um, it is the Paul Mitchell Color Protect Daily Conditioner. I don't know, I used this when I had my black hair, but it's gone completely. So I just use this bottle and it helps application during the dyeing process. I can kind of just squeeze it onto my head from the bottle and then like uh, use a brush or massage it in with my gloves. Uh, but what I do is I empty this I will put this in this bottle right here make this mixture and what I'll do is I'll get in the shower and I will apply it to my dry hair and I will leave it in for my whole entire shower while I'm shaving my legs um, washing my body everything like that I will leave it in and then at the very very end of my shower I turn my water cold and I rinse my hair and one full bottle of this I can usually get two to three showers out of because I use so much conditioner. It is crazy. So what I'll do is I'll put that in there and then I literally only use like a little bit, oops, a little bit of the dye. I can get it out here. And I love Arctic Fox, you guys. It doesn't transfer after you have it in your hair. It doesn't like transfer onto your pillowcases or anything like that or clothing. I have had no problems with transfer at all whatsoever. And you guys, it smells like grapes and I love it so much. So what I do is I just put it in there. I leave a little bit of leeway room so I can shake it properly because if I don't leave a little bit of space at the top, then it has the product has no room to move around. So I just shake, 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 shake your bottle. And then I check it and I see if I like the color. And I go for pretty much a bubblegummy pink. So that's pretty much mixed pretty well. You can see that there's a little bit of darker dye that didn't get blended in. But I don't do like a crazy neon pink or use a ton of dye or anything like that. Um, and the conditioner dilutes it down quite a bit. So yeah, that's about the color that I like is like a kind of deeper bubblegummy pink. And that is that. Like I said, I just lather my dry hair in this right before I'm going to jump in the shower. I shower, I shave my legs, I wash my body. And then at the very, very end, I will uh, turn the water cold or cool and I will rinse this stuff out and that is how I've been maintaining my pink hair and it has um, gradually gotten darker but that is because I upkeep it every time I shower so there hasn't been one time where I've showered since I've done my hair that I haven't done one of these treatments in the shower so that's kind of how I've maintained it and have kept up with it just a warning if you have people who live in your house with you or you constantly have uh, friends over staying the night and things like that and you have colored hair and you make a little mix like this please 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 put a label on it that says whatever color it is do not use this that da, 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 da. if it is in your shower and you have people who come over and take showers at your place or that live there with you and take showers there you do not want them to accidentally use basically 
hair dye in their hair. You can see I tried to write pink on this in pink sharpie, but it came off in the shower. So if you guys have any tips on how to make a label that I can put on this that is waterproof, please let me know in the comments below. I was thinking of maybe a sharpie and then putting like masking tape over it or something. I don't know if that would help. Uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments below and tips and tricks and things like that. You can do this with any crazy color dye. Uh, if you use Arctic Fox or Overtone, they have orange, they have green, they have blue, they have pink. They have all different colors for both brands. So just whichever alternative you want to go for, that's up to you. Uh, for me, just practicality and affordability. This option right here is the absolute best way to go because even me, I have a ton of hair, but paying only a dollar for the conditioner and then just a couple drops of the Arctic Fox. I bought two more bottles of this dye because I thought I was gonna run out of it so fast. And you guys, I'm still on the first bottle and I've only used like this much of the actual product itself. So that is so cool, that's awesome. And I know I got a lot of questions on how to maybe upkeep it. And like I said, I've tried the Overtone. They sent it to me to to review and kind of test out and stuff and the only two complaints I have are you don't get as much product for your money and uh, the scent is kind of a little off-putting I mean it does its job it's really good I found that the couple times that I've used it so far I do really genuinely like it um, it does have a good payoff I have yet to use the tub I have not done that just yet but I have used this and I'm gonna say that I have used probably about this much of the product so far so it's only about this full and that was just after one use to saturate my whole entire head so yeah I, I definitely wish it came with more product because you're paying so much for it uh, but it does work I do like the outcome of it but the smell and the price for the amount that you get is just a little kind of off-putting to me but yeah, that is what I do for my after care hair, after hair care, dye, after dyeing, upkeep, I don't know what this is, call it what you will, but this is what I do to upkeep my luscious uh, pink locks. And with that being said, I guess I will go ahead and let you guys go. Uh, my cat just came into my room. Hi Fluffy! Hi, do you want to say hi to the camera real quick? Look at this camera! Fluffy, look at the camera! <laughs> She's not looking. I love you. Oh, there you go. That's a good girl.